Did you know that writing prompts are versatile, no prep, easily differentiated, and good writing prompts have the ability to support student thinking and engagement, but still allow for a student's creativity and knowledge to shine through? Somehow writing prompts got the reputation for being the easy way out, maybe because they make the teacher's life easier, or maybe because writing prompts can make it easier for student engagement to occur. So who knows, but what's important is, do writing prompts work? By the end of this video, you will have at least four evidence-based reasons to consider writing prompts for your classroom. Welcome to the Engaging Curiosity channel. Today I'm talking about writing prompts, but before I get started, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for no more uh, strategies, evidence-based strategies, on improving your writing and your classroom management. So let's dive right in. The number one reason why writing prompts are beneficial to your students and teaching is that writing prompts can spark creativity. When a student is facing writer's block, a writing prompt can serve as a catalyst to jumpstart their imagination. Not only do they help the writer to think outside the box and explore new ideas they might not have considered, they help with that task initiation that many of our students have. Next up is that writing prompts can improve your students' writing skills. By regularly practicing with prompts, your students can hone their ability to write more fluently and flexibly. This consistent practice helps in developing their unique voice and style over time. Reason number three, writing prompts help to overcome some of the psychological barriers your students may have. Sometimes the pressure to write something great can be overwhelming. Prompts lower the stakes and allow your students to write without self-judgment, and that can boost their self-confidence and re reduce procrastination. Wow, that's a mouthful. Reason number four. Writing prompts help your students to discover new themes and topics. Because good, good writing prompts explore different genres, subjects, and writing techniques, they push the students to explore these same things, which help them to expand their horizons as a writer. This exploration can lead to unexpected and exciting directions in their work. So writing prompts are not just a tool for beginners, but a valuable resource for writers at all levels. They spark creativity, improve writing skills, help overcome psychological barriers, and open doors to new themes and topics. Uh, one example is when you get uh, writing prompts that have differentiated levels, there are fewer lines on the page. Now, some students might want tons and tons of, of lines, but when you get some that have just got two or three lines, that can be an overwhelming barrier for some of your students. And so writing prompts open up those doors, get past those psychological barriers, get them thinking of new ideas, um, get them to explore new genres. So if you find your students are stuck, give them writing prompts. Give it a try. Although I did not rely on them entirely, I did find them to be an important part of my strong writing program, and they were very well received by all of my students. So although, as I said, I did not rely on writing prompts, I did find my students loved them. I found that they were very beneficial. I used them throughout the year for different reasons. Um, one of the very beneficial reasons, though, was uh, prior to breaks and coming back from breaks. Prior to breaks, they allowed us to use up every minute of writing time because writing begets writing. So we weren't worried about starting into a new unit or a new genre. I just put out some seasonal writing prompts and the kids would get to it and they'd be writing, writing, writing. And coming back when they were just getting back into the swing of things and we were reestablishing behavioral expectations. So for the first couple of days or even the first week, we would ease back into it with a section of selection of seasonably appropriate writing prompts. And then I use them at other times too. It just depended what was going on. And I loved having them around. Because I use them, um, I have created some for my TPT store. And I was very intentional. Each writing prompt uh, comes with four different levels of writing paper. Where are my fingers there? There we go. And uh, there's the page for just drawing because that's the first level of writing. There's the wide interlined paper, 
or paper with wide interlines. This is for the beginning writer. Um, they only have a few lines on the page. That prevents the overwhelm, some of that psychological resistance we talked about earlier. Then there's the narrow interline for those students who want a few more lines, who are getting more comfortable with the fine motor skills and um, are ready to tell a little bit more of the story. And then there's the narrow without interlines and those are for the students who are verging on uh, fluent writing. All of them come with the same prompt and the same image and that image is really important for supporting your visual learners and getting the thought process going for all of your students. So you can find the link for those writing prompts in the description below. So there we go. Thanks so much for joining me today. Please remember down below, I have a free classroom management checklist. Download it uh, from the links below. See you soon. Bye now.